In today's video, I am going to show you how an electroscope works. Now, an electroscope consists of four main parts. At the top of the electroscope, we have this metal plate. Then the next thing is we have this black bar that runs down the whole length of the electroscope. Then we have the pivot point right here, and then we have the pointer, which will move out like this when we bring a charged object close to the electroscope. Now, in this video, I'm going to go over four different cases. I'm going to show you here in this part of the video what happens in those four cases, and then in the next part of the video, I'll explain to you why the things happen that we see. Okay, so this is the first of the four cases. The first case is I take this plastic stick. It's been sitting around for a while. It is not charged. I have not charged this stick. And I'm going to take the plastic stick and I'm going to bring it close to the electroscope. And I'm even going to touch the electroscope and you can see that nothing happens. An electroscope is an object that is used to detect charged objects. This stick has been sitting around, it's neutral, it's a net charge of zero, and therefore when I bring it close to the electroscope, nothing happens. Now, for case number two, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this plastic stick and I'm gonna rub it with a piece of silk, and when I rub it with a piece of silk, I'm giving the stick a charge. I'm actually giving it a positive charge. So now I'm charging the stick, it has a positive charge, and now you'll see when I bring the stick close to the electroscope, the pointer moves out like that. Why does the pointer move out? So that is case number two. Bring the charge stick close to the electroscope. That's case number two. Now, case number three is when I move the stick away again, you'll see the pointer goes down. Case two is you bring the charge object close, the pointer moves out. Case three is then I take the stick away and the pointer moves back to its original position. Now, case number four is this. I'm now I'm gonna charge the object again and then I'm going to touch the plate with the stick, which is charged, and then you can see the pointer moves out again, and then when I move the stick away, you can see the pointer stays pointed and stays out like that. Why does that occur? So those are the four cases. One, bring the neutral stick close to the plate. Number two, bring the charged stick close to the plate. Number three, move the stick away, and then number four is touch the electroscope, with the charge stick and then remove the stick and the pointer stays out like that. So in the next section of the video, part two, I'll explain to you why those four things happen when we have that positively charged stick. Now in the second part of this video, I'm gonna show and explain to you what happens when we bring the positively charged stick close to the electroscope. And we're gonna do that for four different cases. Now, before we get started, let's do a quick review. Electrical, of course, is a device that's used for detecting charge. It has those four main parts, the plate, the bar that runs the whole length, the pivot, and the pointer like that. And we're gonna go over the following four cases. What happens when the neutral stick is moved close to the plate? What happens when the positively charged stick is moved close to the plate? What happens when the positively charged stick moves away from the plate? And then the last one, of course, is we're going to take the positively charged stick and we're going to touch the plate and then move it away. So we're going to go over all four cases. We're going to start with the neutrally charged stick. Now, when we start, the electroscope has an overall net charge of zero. It has the same number of positive and negative charge. I drew about 18, but it doesn't really matter how many you are, how many you draw, just as long as you have the same number of positive and negative charges. Now, the stick also is neutral because it also has the same number of positive and negative charges. The stick has been laying around for a while. We haven't done anything to charge the stick. So therefore, the net charge on the stick is zero. And when you bring that neutral stick, that net charge zero stick, close to the plate, nothing happens because the electroscope is used to detect charge. Well, if it has the same number of positive and negative charges, then the stick is not charged. So nothing happens. And what we mean by that is... Nothing happens because the stick is not charged, and therefore none of the charges move. There is no charge separation. All the charges just stay right where they are because the stick is neutral. It has no effect on the charges. Now we're going to take the stick away, and we're going to charge the stick. We're going to rub it with some material so that it has a positive charge. Once again, when we start, the net charge on the electroscope is zero. We're going to take the positively charged stick, which we charged, and it's positively charged because it has more positives than negative charges. So it has a net positive charge. 
Now, in this case, they're not touching. But what happens? Well, that stick is positively charged. And those electrons, those negative charges that are in that electroscope are attracted to the positively charged stick. So the positively charged stick attracts the negative electrons. And those electrons start to move up into the top, towards the top. I just draw them more in the top half of the electroscope so that you can see that the top half of the electroscope is charged negative and the bottom is going to be charged positive, as we'll show you in just a moment as we get all those electrons up there. Now, it's not necessarily all of them that move. Okay, you could draw all of them up there. I left a couple down here. But now you can see that the negative charges have moved up. Now, it's important to remember, in all of these cases, the positive charges do not move. You draw the positive charges on the electroscope, but they do not move. They're in the nucleus of those atoms, and we can't get to those. We can only get to those outer kind of valence shell electrons. Okay, so when we do that, and the positive charges don't move, then we have the electroscope such that the top half of the electroscope has a, like a net negative charge. The bottom half of the electrode has a net positive charge. Now, we haven't removed any charges, so the whole thing is still neutral, has a net zero. But the negative up here and positive down here, this positive end of the bar and this positive pointer repel each other and the pointer moves away because there's like charges, positive and positive, and they repel like that. That's why the pointer moves. It feels that repulsive force, that force of repulsion. They repel each other, and this pointer moves away like that. That's it. Okay, now, when we take the stick away, there's nothing pulling those, attracting those electrons up, so they just move back down to their original positions. The net charge on the electroscope is still zero. It still has the same number of positive and negative charges. The stick has been moved away. There's no force, attraction, repulsion, whatever it might be. In the case of this was attraction. So therefore, the electrons go back to their, where they came from, so to speak, and they get uh, um, spread out equally, evenly, all over the entire electroscope. Okay? So we, we, we brought the stick close to it, and we charged it, and now we take it away, and the electrons go back. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take that positively charged stick and we're going to touch it to the plate. Now, what happens when we take the positively charged stick, and in this case, they're touching, once again, the stick is positive because it has more positive charges than negative. We remove some of the negative charges when we rubbed it with that material. Okay, and now some of the electrons are going to go over from the electroscope to the stick because when we touch it, we allow them to go over. So those negative electrons that were attracted to the positively charged stick, some of those electrons are going to go over to the stick. And now you can see when we remove some of the electrons, the net charge, the overall charge on the electroscope is positive. The electroscope has a net positive charge because we remove some charges. And now the electroscope has more positive charges than negative charges. The whole thing is positively charged because the electrons move from the electroscope to the stick because it was touching. Now the whole thing is positive. Now this tape, this plate at the top and this part of the bar can't move. But down here where we have the bar and the pointer, once again, they have positive charge, positive charge, net positive charge, and they repel each other once again. Now, if I take the stick away, okay, I remove the stick. See, I take the stick away. I take the electrons with me when I take the stick away. Now, even though I took the stick away, I take the electrons and the net charge on the electroscope is still positive because there are more positive charges than negative charges because the electron went from the electroscope to the stick because the stick was touching the plate like that. So now the whole thing is positive again. The bar and the pointer repel each other. The pointer is at the pivot here so it can move and it moves apart and it stays apart like that even though we remove the stick. Okay? So that's why when we remove the stick, the pointer still stays out because the whole thing is positive. 
All right, so there you go. We went over all four cases. First, I showed them to you. Then I showed them to you and explained them, explained what happens with, uh, with, with the presentation here. So now you know what happens with an electroscope and a positively charged stick. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do all of the following five things. Please don't forget to subscribe, click the notification so the bell so you don't miss anything. Give us a thumbs up, leave a nice positive comment, and don't forget to share this video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.